30 blinkers. Yo, what's up guys? This is how you take 30 blinkers in public. In public. Cheers, Workers hard. 30 blinkers? <laughs> a whole lot of blinkers, man. <laughs> Look at the worker. Oh, shit. Cloudy as hell. Say 30 blinkers. We out of here. We out of here. Look, man, I gotta be honest here. This is going to be the most wholesome image that you're going to be seeing in today's video. This dude simply loves big tit moms. And those feelings are so strong that he had to paint that on the back of his car. That is some conviction. And it truly begs the question if, you know, he netted any big tit moms with this message. Personally, I would put a phone number under there just in case any MILFs wanted to hit me up. But hey, I'm just speculating this guy's intentions. Maybe he already has a MILF that he calls his own, and he just wants to tell the entire world how much he loves her tits. Why are we putting this on mugs? Oh my god, and I wish this was just it. I thought it was just going to be a drawing, but no, there is so much more. Along with this drawing, there's a message on the other side of the mug that reads as follows. Roses are red. The morning is foggy. I can't stop thinking about doing you doggy. Isn't that such a wonderful message? Isn't that such a wonderful sentiment that you can share with your girlfriend and or wife? I really wonder if this person treasures this mug or not, or maybe do they put it way back in the cabinet so that nobody can see it. I want two of these. I want this. I would love to go outside with the Kentucky Fried Fit. In my opinion, this fit is not trashy. It's actually classy. It is the future. This is what everybody will be wearing in the next decade. What's trashy about this photo is the fact that she walked inside of the Kentucky Fried Chicken with no fucking shoes on. That greasy, dirty, grimy, slimy floor is all over the bottom of her feet. Not even her feet. Her friend's feet, too. They both walked in with no shoes. Good grief, message received. We understand how you feel about politics. Not only do you have to put it on your shirt, but you put it on the back of your car too. Good Lord, the whole world knows that you dislike Donald Trump. But you know what truly bothers me about this entire photo? It isn't necessarily the sentiment. It's the fact that said sentiment is on a window that you need to look out of in order for you to merge while you're driving. That rear view window is incredibly important so that you don't just, I don't know, run people over and destroy people's lives on the road. Maybe, just maybe, you can put the sentiment down so that other people can drive safely. Hey guys, after getting rear-ended slightly from another driver, riding up close and personal, I installed this. Is that a... is that a weapon? I mean, sure, I see the logic. Did you weld that yourself? Did you make that? I think he made that in his garage. I promise you, man, not everybody on the planet is trying to tailgate you. Just because one person bumped into your moldy truck doesn't mean you have to put a booby trap so that everybody else can lose their bumper when they make the sudden and terrible mistake of stopping at a red light when you stop at a red light, bro. Sometimes traffic happens, and when that ultimately does happen, you're going to be taking people's bumpers away, bro. Homeboy must really like insurance premiums because his has to be going up every time he drives on the road. If I charge, follow me. If I retreat, kill me. If I die, avenge me. This is the code that I live by. If you have a problem with it, unfollow me. Every enemy's worst fear. Every daughter's what? What? Ooh, wh what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. You, you kind of had me in the beginning. I mean, sure, it's a little intense. It's a little too hardcore for Facebook, but every daughter's wet dream, bruh, you look like you're pushing 60. What are you talking about, my man? What are you talking When was the last time you actually, like, served in the military? I get that you're a former Marine, but, like, how former are you? You feel me? Like, how long has it been since you've actually been a gunny? It really seems like this man is trying to relive the old days, you feel me? He's trying to feel that young energy because, uh, this is just out of nowhere. To your- How many followers do you have? I- You don't seem like you have a lot. Oh, no! We actually have ourselves a bad tattoo artist. The titties don't look good, man. They really do not look good. They look like two cantaloupes that have been taped to a woman's chest. It's a real shame that's the case because the rest of the body kind of looks good, except for the arm. The arm that's holding up the titties looks a little misshapen and also like malnutrition arm. It's weird. It looks like she eats but doesn't eat at the same time. But I digress. That's besides the point. The fact that someone put this woman upside down on this dude's back is crazy. Can this man pull up his pants? Can he do, like, can we do that, please? If you're already gonna have a naked woman on your back, at least, can you not show me your ass crack, too? 
Oh, and of course, all of the tattoos that are going to appear in today's video will be on my Twitter account today. So go ahead and take a look at that if you want to see the images uncensored. I can't show you on YouTube because it's a little too spicy. Also, I think I would just lose my channel entirely if I exposed these misshapen titties on the platform. This first clip is all about the secret ingredient that makes, well, Dr. Pepper taste really good. And I was surprised to find out what it was. Yes, Let's see uh, every every uh, the, uh, 20, the 23, 23 flavors. flavors. 24th ingredient. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's been fentanyl this whole time. That's the secret ingredient. Yeah. But at least I'm not liberal. You're right. Obviously, you're not. You support this person who is conservative. But why tattoo it in your lip? Why that? I mean, why not get a regular Trump tattoo like everybody else? Why the lip? Like, I've never seen a good lip tattoo, ever. So why would you ever put somebody's name, as supposedly someone who you support and find their politics to be appealing, on the one place where only bad tattoos ever live? Oh my god, no way. Yo! Yo, this is so cool. Okay, so you know the little darlings like strip club? Guess what? It's coronavirus free. That means the lap dances are not deadly anymore. They're still not safe. You might get chlamydia in your eyelids, but you won't be getting the virus that's been taking people out for the better part of four years. Look at that progress, man. We love it. Oh my gosh, my son spent time meeting his new friends and enjoyed it all at the airport for the send off earlier today. Oh my God, we're really walking around with that? Why are we walking around children with the I don't need sex, the government fucks me every day? It's not that I disagree with the sentiment. What I disagree with is the fact that you're walking around outside with your kids with that particular sweater on. You couldn't find anything else to wear to the airport? That sweater is what you wear at home around your friends and loved ones, all right? That's very much PJ clothing. This next clip shows the aftermath of a fender bender in a parking lot, and the argument that ensues goes exactly the way that you would think it would go. My car is damaged. Is where? Is right your... here. If you want to see, you oh, can come over. Oh, shit. Why are you hitting my car, lady? Because it's not damaged, you bitch. Would you tell her to get away from me? She's crazy. You know, just took, you know, took me to, you know. And it's not damaged. I mean, usually what you're supposed to do you're, you're in an accident yeah. is we exchange information. You bitch. Is she driving away? Have we let him? Yeah. Huh? I got it now. She just drove away. Dear community members, I am putting this notice up as a warning to each and every one of you. We truly value and appreciate each and every one that enters the space. However, to continue to operate, we are asking each and every one of you to start respecting our space. One, please, for the love of God, stop breaking the windows. The money that it takes to fix takes it away from you. It means that there's no more barbecues, no more Friday treat days. Two, stop smoking in the bathrooms. This brings a fire hazard to our building. Three, graffiti. If you want to do artwork, then join us for art days. You don't have to put it in the bathrooms. And finally, please, please, I, I am seriously begging you, stop using within a two block radius. When our neighbors see this, they complain, and this puts us at a risk for getting shut down. If you need to do your crack, do it over there. Do it far away. For whatever reason, you guys are compelled to do crack in the lobby. Can you just not do that, please? Jacked up, because fat girls can't. <laughs> Sorry, that's messed up. That is so messed up. But hey, you can't be talking about fat women when you have the ankle monitor on and it looks like you haven't eaten in five weeks. While the sentiment is funny, uh, you can't say that and also look like a meth head at the same time. You gotta, you, you gotta really understand how you look before you start making fun of other people. Yo, it's the vagina mobile, dude. I bet it smells like fish and nightmares in there, but it looks so cool. It's exotic too, and taboo. Exotic and taboo coochie. That is the only type of coochie that's riding in that car. Look at those rims. They are incredibly shiny and incredibly large. That is wild. 
I really want to see the type of women who step out of this car. I genuinely believe that the type of person, or type of lady rather, that would ride in this car willingly, you know, actually make the decision to step inside of this vehicle, would look otherworldly. Something that you would absolutely take a picture of and then put in National Geographic. What? They said all you can eat. No. It's all you, it's all you can eat. To take the whole damn thing. Let's go. We're really disappointed to tell you this, but the defibrillator has been stolen. The machine is here to save lives, so we're working with our suppliers to get this replaced as soon as possible. How in the world can you flip a, I don't know, defibrillator into crack? In what world can you turn a life-saving machine into methamphetamine? It makes no sense. Who's buying that off the street? Like genuinely, if I was the local fence, I would be incredibly pissed if a crackhead came up to me with a stolen defibrillator with the fullest and most genuine expectation of me handing them money. How in the world can anybody flip this? This is a ridiculous thing to steal. It's like stealing a park bench. Nobody's buying that. You know what, Paul? Tell your wife about us or I will. Happy Valentine's Day. P.S. I'm pregnant. Oh my God. Oh, Paul. What are you doing? What are you doing, Paul? Not only are you out here cheating, but you out here jumping into mistress pussy, raw, unwrapped, unclothed, naked. And now you have a child. This is messy in ways unimaginable. You're over here spraying up strangers' walls, and now said stranger had to buy it the, the world's cheapest ad to expose you with the hopes that you would be responsible for this new being that you've created, bro. Paul, you gotta get your shit together, man. Clean up your act and take responsibility for diving into pussy without any protection. They know you're stupid. That's not the right your. All NASA is hoax. Space is fake. Astronaut. <laughs> All right, the lack of punctuation and just flat out diction is killing me, bro. Like for real, man, how am I supposed to accept your truth if you don't know how to spell it? How am I supposed to accept your premise if you use no punctuation? It kind of fucks up the credibility of your statement when you don't know which your to use. Keeping it classy, chain smoking while sitting and rocking on toddler playground equipment. She legit would not move to let any kids play on it. So we left, just nasty and inconsiderate. Why are people like this? People, humans, don't wrap us in with her. We're all minding our own business. We're not even at playgrounds. We're too busy having jobs and being reasonable people to have the free time necessary in order to chain smoke and sit on toddler playground equipment, all right? I am way too busy to be that degenerate. Ellie Wilde size four prom dress, $500. Okay, that's cheap for a prom dress, not gonna lie. That is a absolute steal. And I wonder why, oh, it's because it was involved in a felony, that's why. Like seriously, of all the images you could have used to showcase this dress, you used the image of your teenage child being arrested by the cops after prom. I swear man, some people on this planet really just operate with zero shame. And you kinda have to call it out, you have to acknowledge it, cause that mentality requires a different type of mental fortitude and a different level of boldness that most people just simply do not have. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, no thank you, uh, I'll pass. Um, not interested, not interested in any capacity. I don't think there's a single universe where I would take you up on that offer. But hey, at least you're politely asking and you're not shouting at the top of your lungs. You made a blanket, it almost looks like. It looks like it's sewn together. Maybe it's paper and like tape, I don't know. But uh, I'm not, I'm not interested. I don't know if any man is interested to be honest. Why? Why do people do this? Especially with rock artists, why? This is odd, this is very strange. Kid Rock does not know you. I understand having strong feelings for music. I understand having certain songs and certain artists connected to certain feelings that are strong. I get it, I understand, but that would never ever compel me to have that artist's name tattooed on my back. What are we doing? Oh, we got ourselves a hepatitis enthusiast. You know, somebody out there has to be a fan. Somebody out there has to be very honest about how much they like, you know, giving people rim jobs and shit. You know, I'm happy for this person. As much as I want to make fun of this person, as much as I want to be disgusted, I'm actually proud that they are proud of having hepatitis B. Cause goddamn, there's so many people out there who struggle with that disease, who feel ashamed, who feel hurt, who feel scared that they might lose their liver. There's this man who rises above all the shame and puts it on the back of his car. He wants the entire world to know that he loves eating balloon knot. Sweet Jesus, this is somebody's daughter, bro. This is somebody's child, and they wanted to pose like this on Instagram so that nobody, 
nobody, only two of their friends would like the photo. Did they know that this was going to be all over the internet? Did they know that this was going to appear in a video that most likely will have 100,000 views? I bet they didn't consider that. But hey, at least you're showing the entire world that you're very flexible and um, you have smooth skin. So you have that going for you. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ailerus, a.k.a. Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you can get these notifications every time. This weekend and all of next week, there's going to be a ton of Ailerus content, a ton of channel favorites, because next week is spring break and you guys deserve a content dump. So I hope you guys are excited for the weekend. There's going to be uploads tomorrow and Sunday and all throughout next week and I wouldn't be able to do it without my patreon supporters so a big thank you to twitch is lost Akinas downhill legend cater hoof behemoth enjoyer the fungi Tim Killen convicted poop slinger dawn breaker Drake traffic racer 124 fisherman the blurred star mr. Sandman ironic PFP Mike sleepy dragon power lover loving Tate Tron destroy 23 co counter Purvis s16 infrared my golden experience James Tucker BMX 30 cinnamon sticks the fake musician Samantha Bellhart bloody hunter Killy dunder Nas Hawk Swiss Patreon user and Noah, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.